Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today I'll show you how to create an AI chatbot using Play's OpenAI API Prefab. If you want to follow along in this project, just go into our Learn section and check out the OpenAI chat project. Now, the first thing we'll do is, of course, add our API Prefab. So let's type in API, and this first one is OpenAI API. I'm going to go ahead and delete these actions for now. So in this prefab, we have a fetch node, and that's bringing in the data from the API. If you have a paid plan, you can unlock this prefab and see how we're doing all of that. And you can even customize this prefab as well. If you're not on a paid plan, or if you just want to watch the tutorial, we've linked that fetch tutorial below. Everybody, every time they're using an API, should check out the documentation for that API so they know how it works. We've linked that up here. So again, we recommend checking that out before you use this API. You'll also need to go to this website to create an API key, which is what allows the API to work and thus this prefab to work. Once you have that API key, then you can paste it in this API key section here. Oops. And now your prefab will work. Now let's talk about the other prefab controls. This top one is fetch on load. So when this is turned on, it just means your API is going to fetch the data as soon as the page loads. I like to turn this off by default. Next, you have the prompt. This is what is going to be communicated to the GPT and the GPT will respond to. You can type something in here, but we're also going to update this prompt variable when the user types something in the text field. We'll do that a little bit later in this video. Next, you have the API key. We already talked about that. You have the model, which is the GPT model you want to use, and you have the role. This is basically the vibe that you want the GPT to have. So they're a helpful assistant here, but you could change this to an unhelpful assistant or really anything you'd like. Next, we have remember context. When this is turned on, the GPT will remember the previous messages you sent and will include that as context in the conversation. Next, we have these action sections. So you can play actions when the API is loading, when the API responds successfully, or if there's an error when the API is loading. Similar to this API loading, we also have the spinner. You can choose an object on your page, typically an activity indicator, and this will also show that the API is loading. We're gonna add actions here in a second, but first let's update that prompt to the GPT every time the user types something in this text field. So we're gonna go into this text field and you can see we have this event already set up when the return key is pressed. So the user finishes typing something in and presses send in this case, that's when we wanna complete these actions. So first we're going to set a variable. We wanna set the prefab variable for prompt. So in this left side, we're gonna use an expression and we're gonna first target where this prefab was, which was the page, dot, and now you can see a list of all the triggers and properties. We want this OpenAI API pro, uh, prefab that's on the page, and we'll do another dot, and now you can access all of those prefab variables. The one we want here is prompt, and then you can press return. Now we want that prompt to have a value of whatever the user entered in this text field. So we're gonna do self, because this interaction is placed on the text field, dot, and here's all the properties. So we want the value of this text field. So that prompt will be sent to the GPT and then the GPT will respond back. We're saving that response as a variable. So now we just need to take that variable and display it in this text element here. So on this API response, I'm going to add a set text action. We want this to target this response text here and we want to display this response text variable. So we're gonna select that as the value. And now that's all you have to do. So if I type something in here, like, hello, my name is Harcourt, how are you? Send that, you can see this activity indicator shows that we're loading, and then you can see the GPT's response. Hello, Harcourt, I'm just a program, but I'm here and ready to help you with whatever you need. And that's how you'll use this OpenAI API prefab to create an AI chatbot in play. Thanks so much for watching this video.